Welcome to Electra Online. Our new set of videos in algebra deal with solving linear equations, systems of linear equations, I should say, because we've already learned how to solve linear equations, but not yet how to solve systems of linear equations. So the first question may come up is, what is a system of linear equations? Well, it always helps to understand what it is that we're talking about because typically we jump right into starting new exercises and we might lose track of what it is that we're actually trying to do and we may not understand the context of what this means. It turns out the concept of solving a system of linear equations is an extremely important concept in algebra, so we need to get this one straight. So first of all, let's define a linear equation. We've seen that before and it's defined by the equation y equals mx plus b which is represented on an xy graph on a plane. It's, it's represented as a straight line. So it's an equation that represents a straight line on the xy axis. If we now have a system of linear equations, that means we have two or more of them. So for example, typically we're going to deal with two. We might deal with a third or a fourth, but that's something for later. Right now, we'll just deal with two. So we have equation one and we have equation two. So here we have y equals mx plus b, but we have an m1 and a b1 because those are specific to that equation. And our second equation is y equals m2x plus b2 because the m2 and b2 for this equation is different than m1 and b1 for that equation. So typically, each of the equations in the system has a different slope, a unique slope, and a unique y-intercept. That's typical. It doesn't have to be that way, but typically that is the case. So what happens when we then graph the two equations, we get two lines. Since they have a different slope, they will be oriented in a different direction, and we can be sure that if the two slopes are different, the two lines will intersect somewhere. There will be what we call a point of intersection. So notice equation one has a y-intercept called b1, and it has a slope m1, which is defined by the change in y over the change in x for that particular line. For the second equation, we have a different y-intercept, we have a different slope defined by the change in y2 and the change in x2. It's simply a different ratio giving you a different slope. So then you can see that your two equations for line one and line two have different intercepts, different slopes, and when we draw them on xy plane, they will cross somewhere on the plane. And that is how we define a system of linear equations. Will I mention a negative slope? Well, true enough, the equation here, the equation 2, has a negative slope because the rise is down. A negative rise means a negative slope. So yes, in that particular case, this one has a negative slope and that one has a positive slope. Good observation. 